Good evening everyone. Happy Wednesday. Here we are again. It's been a lovely bright day here today. A little bit windy, a little bit rainy, but hopefully you've all managed to get outside and have a nice day. Um, I have got a friend here today who remembers Winston. Um, Winston's been feeling a little bit left out because he's had to stay at home like everybody else but I have not even remembered to bring him to say hello on our videos I don't think I think he might have been on one or two but he certainly hasn't been here for the last couple of weeks so he's been feeling a little bit glum because he hasn't seen any of his friends but just like you guys who's excited that we might be able to go back to school really soon and see our friends Winston is excited because it might mean that once you guys are all back at school that we can come in and have fun with you again and do our mindfulness sessions our relaxed kids sessions and have some fun play some games together which would be absolutely super so we're really excited about that aren't we Winston Okay, so as I've just mentioned, we're going to be going back to school really, really soon. I know some of you might um, might have actually been back this week, I think. Um, some of you will be going back on Monday. I know one of my children are going back on Monday. Some of you have still got a couple of weeks to go. And I also know that you might be feeling really excited and really happy about going back to school. And that's fantastic. But... You might also be feeling a little bit nervous. So these little tips that me and Winston are going to share with you today are just some tips and tricks that you can use all the time wherever you are to help to boost your mood and to um, make yourself feel a little bit better. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is move our bodies because when we move our bodies it makes our mind feel different and it makes so so many other things in our body feel different it's really really good for us you know we know that don't we we all know that exercise is so good for our health and our immune system so it's also good at boosting our mood and making us feel happier um, and it can make us feel less nervous if we're nervous it can also help us if we're feeling angry or frightened because sometimes what's happening when we are feeling those things is that all those little bubbles of, of energy and feelings and nerves are fizzing around in our bodies and they're just making us feel a little bit funny and not very good. And if we do some moving and some jumping about, we can help those to settle down. We can get them released from our body and we can help them settle down. So moving our body is the first thing that we're going to think about doing today actually it's not it's the second thing because I want you to just for a second just tune in to how your body's feeling at the moment because as we said maybe you're feeling happy maybe you're feeling nervous maybe you're feeling sad maybe you're feeling excited maybe you're feeling sleepy but let's just take a second to just check in with that so pop your hands on your chest and I'll be quiet for a minute and see if you can tune in to your heartbeat. Take a nice big deep breath all the way in. And all the way out again. And just notice the way that your heart's beating at the moment. Is it going quickly or is it going slowly? Because that's an indicator of how we're feeling as well. So one of the ways that we can feel our feelings is in our heartbeat and if we're going really quickly that can mean that we're nervous or we're excited or we're angry um, and if it's going really slowly then generally it means that we're nice and calm and everything's all on a nice even keel okay so just check it doesn't matter whether it's going quick or whether it's going slow at the moment no one is better than the other there's no prizes for a quick heartbeat or a slow heartbeat but just notice it and just tune in to where you are at the moment okay and then we're just going to do some really simple movement so the first thing i want you to do then is reach up really really high 
touch, see if you can touch the ceiling, touch the sky, stretch your fingers out, bring your arms out wide, really, really wide to the sides, as far as you can go, stretch your legs out too, stand up and stretch your legs out, and then I want you to bend down really low and touch your toes, okay, have you got that? We're going to repeat that now, so we're going to reach up really, really high, as high as you can get, reach out wide to the sides, bend down low and touch your toes, it's a bit like swimming isn't it, let's swim up, swim out and swim down, who knows that song, that baby shark song, I'm not going to embarrass myself by singing it because I don't know all the words but you guys can sing it if you want, so we're going to swim up, we're going to swim forwards and out and we're going to swim down and we're going to go up and forwards and down. Okay, so that's a really simple movement that you can do anywhere and we've just done it, I've been sitting down, you might have got up, I don't know. The next thing we're going to do is experiment with the speed of our movements. So, we can get up now if you want, I don't know whether I might disappear out of shot, that might be a good thing. We're going to go really, 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 really quickly, run as fast as you can on the spot, run, 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 really, 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 really quickly, quick as you can, keep running, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, stop. Go again. Run as quick as you can. Go, 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 Really, 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 really quickly, as quick as you can. See if you can make your arms disappear and your feet disappear. Go really, 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 really quick. Stop. Freeze. And once more. Go really, 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 really quickly, as quick as you can. Go really super quick. Imagine that you're a superhero and you are going as quick as you can. Quick, 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 quick. And stop. Freeze there. Okay, and now we'll try and move really, really, really slowly. So this time I want you to pay attention to the way that each part of your body feels as it's moving. So we're going to go really slowly. You can run, you can swim, you can swim up, down or out wide. You can jump if you want, but just go really slowly. Even you can just wave your hands, go as slow as you can. And just pay attention to the way that each part of your body feels as it's moving. And can you feel the air against your skin? How does that feel? Is it warm? Is it cold? Can you feel the air going through your fingers? Try and close your hands and bring them up and down and out to the sides and see if you can trap the air. How does that feel? Can you feel the air now against your face? Like a little breeze cooling you down. One last time, move really, really, really quickly, as quick as you can. Go really quick, as fast as you can. Quick, 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 as quick as you can. And freeze. Stop there. Well done, guys. Excellent moving around. So you can see how simple that was, and I bet you all feel a lot different than the way you did when you started. So we'll just test that theory out. Pop your hand back on your chest. Find your heartbeat again. And notice how it's beating now and whether it's going quicker or slower. If you're really, really, really quiet, maybe you can notice, can you actually hear your heart beating? Just really tune into it and notice how you're feeling. My heart's going quite quickly now, quicker than it was anyway. Um, not the quickest that it can go. But as we said, there's no prizes for how quick your heart's beating. Okay, so that's a really just a quick five minute illustration of how we can make ourselves feel different just with a really simple bit of movement. So that's why your playtime is important at school as well and why it's important if you're staying at home and doing your lessons to not sit at the table all the time and to get up and move around. Actually, a brilliant tip is if your mind gets stuck if maybe you don't know the answer to a question or you just can't think, maybe you're not thinking the way that you usually think, get up, walk around, do your imaginary swimming, move as fast and as slow as you can, do some star jumps, dance around to Baby Shark if you are lucky enough to know those words. And when you come back to the table, 
I am willing to bet that you'll feel differently and you might be able to get that answer that you couldn't get before. So that's a really good thing to try. The next thing, um, we've just got five more minutes, so just a couple of little tips then. We're gonna warm our hands up again like we did the other week, but this time we're gonna start at the top of our face, okay? And we're just gonna stroke downwards. We're gonna see how that feels. Just pay attention to the way it feels when your fingers touch each bit of your face. Notice all the different shapes and the bumps in your face, but go really slowly and really gently from the top down to the bottom. Now, usually when we do this, this can have a little effect on our mouth and it can make our mouth go straight or even down. And when it goes down, it makes us look quite sad and it can also make us feel sad. So it does make us quite calm. It has a nice calming effect to stroke our face downwards. But it's in danger of making us look and feel a little bit glum as well. So we're not gonna do that anymore. We're gonna change direction and we're gonna paint our smile on. So this time I want you to, you can actually smile if you want, or you can just see what happens when you change direction and you move upwards in a positive direction. So instead of pulling our face down, stroking our face down, we're gonna push everything just gently up. And this time it encourages us to feel and to paint on that smile and to keep that smile on our faces and hopefully go through the day with a much more positive mood and a much more positive mindset. The next thing is something that you will have probably done if you've been in one of my classes, but I'm aware that some of you might be feeling a little bit nervous and a little bit anxious at going back to school after being at home for so long. Um, or you might just be feeling so excited to see your friends that you can't possibly imagine how you can be calm enough to sit at your desk and do your work. So I want you to take with you a special tool and it's something that everybody has with them. You don't need a bag to carry it in and it's here, it's your hand. So we're going to do our five finger breathing. So at any time when you might be feeling a little bit too hyper or sad or anxious then to calm ourselves down and make that heartbeat go a little bit more slowly and a little bit calmer, we're gonna practice our five finger breathing. So hold out your hand nice and wide and begin at the base of your thumb and we're gonna trace each finger up and down. But as we trace it, we're gonna breathe. So we're gonna breathe all the way in as we go up our thumb and when we get to the top, nice and slowly, we're gonna go the other way and we're gonna breathe out. <sighs> breathe in as we go up the next finger. We could pause at the top to slow it down even more. And then as we go down that finger, we're gonna breathe out. You could pause at the bottom if you want. And we're gonna breathe in as we go up the next finger. Pause at the top and breathe that breath all the way out again. Next finger, breathing all the way in, pausing at the top and breathing all the way out as you go down again. Last finger, breathing all the way in, pause at the top and exhale as you come all the way back down. And if you want to be extra, extra mindful, you can introduce, you can notice the way that it feels as you're stroking your finger across your other hand. You can pay attention to the way that the breath feels as you breathe it out. Can you feel the air on your fingers? Is it cold? Is it hot? <sighs> Try and blow each individual finger or you could blow from the base of the finger up to the top as you're exhaling. 
try it any which way, try it all the ways. But already there, just doing those five breaths, you've brought yourself from up here all fizzy and fast and nervous and excited right back down to being nice and calm. And all that remains for us to do for today's mini mindfulness is dig out our affirmation. And because we are hopefully going to be seeing our friends really super soon, which is so exciting, I've picked this one. And we're gonna say, I am friendly. Because we're obviously gonna see our friends, which is fantastic. And we're gonna prove that we are such good friends because we need to be mindful that perhaps some of our friends might be feeling the things that we sometimes can feel. We might be happy at going into school, but some of our friends might be feeling a little bit nervous, a little bit sad because they've not been there for a while. So we need to make sure that we're all being really good friends. So as a little reminder, we're just gonna tell ourselves now and in the mornings when you go into school or when you're brushing your teeth, I am friendly. Okay, so repeat that after me. I am friendly. You can wiggle that around a bit if you want. You can change that and you might want to say, I am a good friend, um, however you want to say it. But keep it in mind and think about all the things that make you a good friend and practice that when you do go back to school and make sure that all your friends know that you are a good friend and that you are their friend. Okay, you can even incorporate that into your five finger breathing. So we could breathe all the way in, get to the top. I am friendly, say out your affirmation. Breathe out, next finger, get to the top. I am friendly, and so on. You could try out different affirmations for each finger. You play around with it and find out what works for you. Let me know in the comments if you try it and if it works. Let me know how you're feeling about going back to school. We'll see you next Wednesday, me and Winston, for a little for our final one of this series of mini mindfulness sessions. And you can let me know how you got on at school if you've gone back at school. I gone back to school. I actually think next week we might have a little um, sensory treasure hunt as a treat for the last week. So make sure you're here, tuned in on Facebook, on your mummy, daddy, uncle, auntie's Facebooks at six o'clock next Wednesday. And me and Winston will be here to have some fun. Okay. So have a lovely rest of the evening. Have a lovely rest of the week. Have fun if you're going back at school, back to school, and. Have fun if you're not. Have fun at home. Keep working super, super hard and remember to get up from the table and move your body to change your mind. Okay, guys. Bye.